Hi guys, today I'm here with another Brother Scan and Cut video. We are going to go through the basics of getting set up with Canvas Workspace, getting your machine connected to your Wi-Fi, and connecting your machine to the computer that's using the Canvas Workspace. So you have to register those two things. I am um, hurt, sorry. So you can see uh, this kind of video I can do with one hand. So I'm doing that, but my card making videos will have to wait a couple of weeks until hopefully my arm is healed. So I just wanted y'all to know I will be back with those. Please try to stick with me. Make sure today that if you are interested in brother scan and cut videos, card making videos, anything, you hit the subscribe subscribe button, like, and the notifications. I will try to post as many things as I can about this brother Scan and Cut. I am taking this from the aspect of being a beginner. So I want to make video tutorials that are easy and that can be kind of quick so that if you're trying to set this machine up, you don't just give up and uh, get frustrated because that is what I tend to do with new technology is if I don't um, have the time, I don't have the information, then I want to give up. And this machine is amazing. So I think you're going to really love it. Um, I want you to spend some of your Christmas break getting to know it. Um, and I'm going to try to help out as best as I can with um, some of those simple videos. So I'll pop some up in the screen too. Um, of course, at the end of this, you could always just look at the whole playlist of Brother Scan and Cut for me. But um, I've just kind of got the basics and I wanted to get it out of the box and get started. And now I am ready for Canvas Workspace. I want to make some designs. I want to cut those out whenever I want to and send them between the machine. So from the machine to the computer, computer to the machine. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I hope that you will get some great stuff out of this info. Out of this info. I know that it took me some time to get it together and make it concise. So stick with me and I hope to see you again soon. I will be back with my injury as soon as I possibly can. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video. So when I say basic, I mean, let's Google where you find Canvas Workspace. Maybe that's obvious to some people, but I'm gonna make sure you know. I Googled it, it came up right here, and then I just clicked on it from Google to take me to the site. And then once I got to the site, there are two options, the register and log in. I went with register first because I know that I need to get my machine noticed and get on Canvas Workspace. So we're going to start with member registration. This is where if you need, an, if you've already got your Scan and Cut Canvas login ID, you can use it. I did not, so that I'm going to do everything. We're going to have to agree to some terms and conditions, enter some information, confirm it with your email, and then we will be registered. So here we go. So I'm going to scroll down on this page and show you that we'll get to the terms and conditions. I did look quickly at the supported browsers to make sure I work on a Mac and so I wanted to make sure it did support Safari, which it does. And then I'm going to scroll down and agree to all these terms and conditions. You of course can read these whenever you want to, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to scroll down and hit the I agree button and show you what happens next. So we'll hit the button. The computer may think about it for a second or two, mine did. And then you're gonna get a place to enter your information. So this login ID, I had to look at this a couple times to make sure that I didn't already have a login ID somewhere, but it's basically something you create. So I'm gonna go with Nikki Hart's cards because that's my business. And I tried to space it in case it showed up somewhere, but they do not like spaces. This is more of a login, so you'll see it gets mad. So I'm going to cover up what I do for the password here and I'm going to fix these spaces and then I'm going to show you what's down further on this screen so that you know. Basically we need an email address, our first and last name, and our birth date. So some of that of course I will black out just for my privacy but in general that's what we'll need to do. So I'm going to show you how this scrolls down and then we'll get it filled out and I will turn it in. So it also asks you what your gender is and then it has a submit bottom thing at the bottom. So after I hit next, here's what you get to confirm your information. You hit register, then they're gonna send you a confirmation email that you'll need to click on. So I'm gonna hit register and you'll see what the page looks like. 
and then now it's telling you that you need to click on a, the URL in your email that you have provided. So I provided my email and now I'm going to go into that, click on the thing and I'll show you what page comes up when you click from your email. So off screen I went into my email and I clicked on that thing and it takes me to this. Now start Canvas Workspace. So yay, I've registered and now I can start the Canvas Workspace. I'm going to briefly show you what is in Canvas Workspace and then we're going to go set up our machine so that we can get images and things sent directly to the machine. This is just talking about an upgrade um, and you can download this. I haven't downloaded anything so I'm not worried about it right now. Um, so I'm just going to go right into Canvas Workspace. What I notice immediately is that there's four tabs at the top. This first one I'm on is called Canvas Projects. And so you could pick any of these projects and they would take you through using the machine. So it's really cool. It's got lots of little free features here. I think based on what machine you bought tells you how many free options you've got. And you can always click on one of these, which I'm going to do, and I'll show you how it lays it out. So I'm going to click on cake shaped boxes and here's what it shows you. It shows you that you're going to need three different sheets. It tells you colors that you can use. Of course, you don't have to use those colors and you can download these as you see the little download button directly to your machine. So if you want to edit, you can also hit the other button, but I would just directly download these unless there was something I was adding to them. So when you go to this, it says scan and cut transfer and it said this function needs to be registered. So that's what I'm going to take you through today because you can also save this to your um, computer you can save it to a USB but I want to scan and cut transfer so we're going to go through how we set that up so this first clip I only did once and I know the camera's not in the greatest place so sorry about that but what we're going to do is set up the Wi-Fi on this machine and I'm trying to adjust it where you can see the um, screen a little bit better but I wanted to show you how to set that up First thing you're going to hit are the three bars up at this top left corner that look like the Wi-Fi symbol and you've got this option to enable it or not so W L A N enable you want to hit on okay so I hit on next you choose the thing right under it that's called setup wizard and it's going to take you to the local Wi-Fi networks mine is called Mahalona so I'm going to hit OK and it wants the password to my Wi-Fi so enter in your password to your Wi-Fi. I'm not going to show you what mine is. I hit OK and it says apply settings, yes or no. So I'm going to pick yes. We're going to apply those settings and it says it's connecting. Once we go to the next screen, it's just going to tell us more about we have to connect our machine to the Canvas workspace that we're using. So we need to say next. We're going to do that and we're going to register this connection. This is going to be a little bit detailed, so stay tuned. So the next one says register the connection between Canvas Workspace account and the machine in order to send the cutting data with the Canvas Workspace. So we're going to hit next and we get this number. It says you've got to register your ma machine, which means you've got to type this code into your computer. So I'm going to take you to the screen you type it on. So you're in Canvas Workspace and you go to machine registration and it says right here input the machine number and then you will have to do another step where you get a pin code from your machine. So it definitely would be helpful to have a laptop so that you're not running back and forth like I am. I'm running upstairs to my desktop and then downstairs to my machine. Once you hit OK, this gives you this PIN code and now you've got to go back to your machine and enter the PIN code and that will connect the two. So I'm going to go back to my sh machine, show you where that PIN code goes and we'll go from there. On this, I had it still on this screen where you see the code that I just put in on my computer. So I'm going to hit OK and that's where it's going to ask for the PIN code. So I'm going to put my PIN code in and hit OK and I'll show you what comes up when you do that processing for a second and then it's gonna say yay you've connected the canvas workspace setting has been specified okay I'll hit that button and now it says here's my login ID canvas workspace all of this stuff works yay so right here I I always kind of wonder, do I hit home? Do I hit back? Sometimes I just play with it. So I am going to hit back and see what happens. It shows me that everything's enabled. And I thought, well, maybe I can hit home. But no, just hit back twice and it'll take you back to this, this area. And you see now, instead of having a little wrench above my Wi-Fi symbol, the Wi-Fi symbol is full. 
and I can hit retrieve data and show all these different ways that I can retrieve my data. So I'm going to want to retrieve my data from my computer and Wi-Fi. So we'll hit that in just a minute and I'll show you how to do it. So we're going to go back to Canvas Workspace and I'm going to do something very simple. I'm just going to use some text. So I'm going to create a new canvas and I'm just going to add text and kind of show you how to transfer and how easy it is once it transfers. So we'll pick text. You can pick whichever one you want and I know that you can download your own fonts to this too, but that will be a different video. So I'm going to pick a font and when I pick it, it just says text in that font on my um, canvas workspace right there. So what I'm going to do is highlight this and I'm going to change it to what I want to say. So just for fun, we're going to change it to Nikki Hearts. Um, it runs out of space, so I'm just going to do Nikki Hearts and kind of size it to fit on my canvas right here. So this is the exact size of your 12 by 12. And so if you were going to cut this out, you need to make sure everything stays within this red line right here. So if you can see the little red dotted line around here, it all needs to be inside that for it to get cut on the machine on a regular 12 by 12. So I highlighted this to see if I could change the type of text once I've already got it on there. And no, you cannot. It just pulls up another one that you would have to write um, everything you needed to in it. So if you pull up that other one, if you just want to get rid of anything, like a lot of things on your computer, this is a right click and delete and it will go away. It's so right click, delete. So just pretty simple program. Now I'm going to send this to my machine. I'm going to show you how to do that. Go to this download button. I'm going to hit it and then it'll give me some options. So it says I've got options on how I want to transfer. I can download it to a PC or I can scan and cut transfer. And I'm definitely going to scan and cut transfer. It says it's ready. Um, you can close this, you can leave it open, whatever you want to do. But I'm going to go to my machine and show you how this came across. I'm at the home screen of my machine and basically you just hit retrieve data and how you sent it. So I sent it from the computer over Wi-Fi and it shows what I just sent, which is amazing. Now you can do things like edit this, you can cut it, you can emboss it. So many different options that are a whole nother video, but we've got all kinds of options and it's that fast. Literally, I sent it, walked downstairs and it was on here. So how cool is that? Okay, so that's it for this video. I will be producing more Brother Scan and Cut videos. I'm gonna to try to keep those as beginner type videos for now. Um, and so just stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. I, of course, will be back to making cards soon. I really hope um, my arm will heal in the next couple weeks and I'll be able to get more of those out. But please just stay tuned. I promise to be back and continue producing content. So I will see you soon and make sure you hit that like button and check out some of the other Brother Scan and Cut videos that I have. I will link them at the end. In my description, I will put anything that I use in this video. I think everything is Brother Scan and Cut and I do not have any type of affiliate link with them. So I will put down, if you are going craft shopping today, um, some of the craft stores that I do have affiliate links to if you are willing to help support my channel. So that does not cost you anything. Going through those links gives me a very small commission, but it really does help run the channel. So thank you so much for that support and I hope to see you soon. Have a great day. Bye guys.